Good morning, Granite Bay. I'm Cameron Erickson, and I'm all by myself. Coming up is the Granite Bay Today Bulletin for today, April 9th, 2015. Guys and Dolls. The GBHS Performing Arts Department presents Guys and Dolls on April 9th through the 11th and the 16th through the 18th at 7.30 p.m. Doors open at 7 p.m. Youth tickets are $8, students $10, and adults $12. Purchase tickets online at theater at granitebay.org. Speaking of which, we got some specialists on the case with a little more information. So you want to know something about this school? Let me tell you a thing or two about this school. We've been walking these grounds for about three years, I'd say. Always answering the calls, the perturbed, and the miffed. We lurk not only in the shadows, but adjacent to them as well. It may seem like a normal day to the common eye, but let me tell you, it isn't. We are the predators, and the crooks, they're the prey. We are professionals, paralleled to nobody. No crack or crevice goes unchecked under our watchful eyes. We are... The, the Bay Walkers. It was just another normal October afternoon, despite the fact that we've been too busy to change the calendar and it was actually April. But that's besides the point. The point is that we've got another case on our hands. What on the street draws us once again to the theater department? The root of pure evil. I just hope that we can get somebody to spill the applesauce behind such unadulterated insanity. Luckily, somebody had discarded a rare pre-production playbill, which we procured with utmost promptitude. Oh, would you take a gander at this? All the big names are right here. As I glanced at this face that only a mother could love, I couldn't help but notice the mischief brewing in his eyes. So we got our leads. Who happened to be the leads? Now it's time to hear him squawk. We gots to go have a slice of parlay with the supposed couple to be. So we'd like to ask you a few questions. Who's asking? So, uh, how is working together on this show of most utter fab? Show of most utter fab? Well, I'd say it's been pretty swell working with Chris. Um, I haven't, I didn't really know who he was before <laughs> I was like cast in the show, so it was cool like meeting him. So, uh... Would you two care to dish out these pickles and chips and tell us about this show? So it's basically just about um, a guy named Nathan Detroit who he's looking to run his crap game that he always runs when he hears that this big shot Sky Masterson is in town, played by me, myself, and he decides he will try and bet him to take uh, Sarah to Havana and that if he can't take her to Havana then he gets a thousand bucks. Well, we got two other stops to make. And gazing at my portable wrist-slung grandfather clock, we may not be able to make it to the end of this episode. So we better split up. So you're Nathan Detroit, huh? So, uh, how does a fella such as yourself uh, get into the business? How did I get into the business? Well, um, you know, we had uh, auditions. Uh, that was around December, and... Apparently I was okay, so this cast is the lead, which was kind of neat, I guess. <laughs> all right, Mr. Erickson. I trust that my fellow detective won't let up until all the information starts jumping at him like a couple of jackrabbits who are late for their dentist appointments. Now on to this Holmes guy once again. I know we had him shaking in his socks last time, so he better be ready. Ah! We meet again, Mr. Uh, Holmes. Taylor, I see you every day. Now, uh, you're putting on another production? Uh, yeah. The production is our uh, spring musical we do every year. This year it's called Guys and Dolls, and uh, it's a very famous musical. Um, the show actually opens Thursday, and uh, runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then next week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And, uh, how much are you selling these tickets for, and how can one acquire these tickets? Uh, well these tickets, and again, I don't know why you're air-quoting them, because they are actual tickets, uh, you can buy online 
Um, if you are bringing a little brother or sister um, and they haven't hit middle school yet, then it's $8 and uh, $10 for students here at uh, Granite Bay High School and $12 for adults. Yeah, okay. Nice to see you again, Holmes. So, uh, what kind of hair product do you use? Uh, shampoo? What does that have to do with anything? I'm uncomfortable right now. That kid. I think I got what he was all about. Almost like we share the same mind. No doubt the Baywalkers work better as a team. But we got what we came for. I gotta say, I did miss my partner against crime. Although we managed to sink this case into the depths of the Enlightened. That's two points for the Baywalkers. Which is enough for today. Until next time, Granite Bay. Student government elections. Starting today, elections are to begin for upcoming candidates for student government positions. Here's a video to help you to get to know a little more about the candidates. Hi Granite Bay, I'm Alex Baldonado and I'm the MC for your 2015 election debates. Let's get to the debates. I'm here with Lily Winters and she is running for ASB Vice President. As ASB Vice President, you will be given tasks that will allow you to connect with other students on campus through student senate meetings. What do you plan to do with their ideas? With their ideas, I plan to bring them back to student government and use them in rallies and different activities we do on campus. Great. I'm here with Chase House, and he is running for ASB Vice President as well. As ASB Vice President, you will be given tasks that will allow you to connect with other students on campus through student senate meetings. What do you plan to do with their ideas? Well, Alex, is there if I call that, or do you prefer Ms. Baldonada? I like this one. All right, Alex, I'd like to take these ideas back. I'd like to ponder them, you know, look over them, see what, see what ideas are really good, and maybe improve the ones that could be improved on. I'd like to take them back and uh, use as many as I can to give them to the commissioners of those events and help them make the events much better and more enjoyable for all the student body. Thank you. Hi, I'm with, I'm with Matt Smith and Corden Wade, and they're running for ASB Spirit Commissioner. So guys, in next year's rallies, what do you hope to improve upon to create a more spirited environment? Uh, well, first off, what we're, what, we're gonna wanna, what we're wanting to do is we want to make the, the rallies have more people involved and just like get more people like, like playing in the rallies and having fun and just create a more spirited atmosphere. Yeah, like Matt said, I feel like getting a lot of people involved is a big part of it. I think that by providing some more innovation and stuff to the games that we do, we can really um, incorporate a really spirited environment for all the classes. All right, thanks guys. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Hi, I'm here with Jillian Aris Curran and Lauren Angelo, and they're running for ASB Spirit Commissioner. Guys, in next year's rallies, what do you hope to improve upon to create a more spirited environment? We hope to incorporate many different people in many different groups along with the campus and the activities. And we also want to have surprises in the rallies to get people excited and on their feet. That's great. Thank you. I'm here with Andrea Hagener, and she is running for junior class vice president. How do you plan to reach out to juniors and encourage participation in rallies and at floats? Um, how I hope to encourage the next year's junior class is by highlighting different events that you can do at Floats to bond the junior class together before our final year of high school. I'm here with Evan Sarmiento and he is running for junior class vice president. So Evan, how do you plan to reach out to juniors and encourage participation in rallies and at Floats? The uh, way I plan to have juniors participate in rallies and Floats is by reaching out to some of the sports teams at our school and trying to get like all the team to come and participate as a whole. So not only does it bring the junior class together, it also makes the teams a lot closer. Awesome, thank you. Welcome. And these are your uncontested elected positions. Hi, my name is Aubrey Holt and I will be serving as your 2015 to 2016 Associated Student Body President. I look forward to serving you and improving our culture daily. Let's have a great year, Grizzlies.
Hi, my name is Alyssa Sewell and I'm your Fall 2015 ASB Publicity and Marketing Commissioner. My name is Brooke Gonzalez and I'm your Class of 2016 Senior Class President. Hi, I'm Amanda Tarbell and I'm your Fall 2015 Senior Vice President. Hi, I'm Cassie Cook and I'm your Fall 2015 Junior Class President. Hi, I'm Audrey Briolo and I'm your Fall 2015 Sophomore Class President. That wraps up the Thursday episode of Grand Pay Today. You can always find more information at grandapaytoday.org as well as following us on Twitter, Instagram, Vine, and Erasma. I'm Cameron Erickson and have a day, Grand Pay.